Did you know that every 30 seconds, someone loses a limb due to diabetes? I'm not sharing this statistic to scare you, but because this information I'm about to share could literally save your foot. Today, we're going to talk about diabetic foot ulcers, what causes them, how to prevent them, and most importantly, what to do if you already have one. My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider, and I'm a podiatrist in Houston, Texas. Every day in my practice, I help diabetic patients protect their feet and prevent devastating complications. Before we dive into today's topic, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to help others find this critical information. Let me start with something that shocks most of my patients when they first hear it. Having a diabetic foot ulcer is actually more deadly than most cancers. In fact, only lung and pancreatic cancer have a worse five-year survival rate. About 6.5% of diabetics will develop a foot ulcer, and that's why early prevention and treatment are absolutely crucial. Think of a diabetic foot ulcer as an open wound that typically develops on pressure points of your feet. It's not just bad luck that causes these ulcers. It's actually a perfect storm of three factors working together. First, diabetes damages your nerves, causing numbness in your feet. Imagine having a pebble in your shoe but never feeling it. The damage continues because you don't know it's there. At the same time, diabetes affects your circulation, reducing blood flow to your feet. This means even small injuries can take much longer to heal. And when you add in the constant pressure from walking and standing, especially if you're carrying extra weight, you've got the perfect conditions for an ulcer to develop. Now let's talk about managing your diabetes because this is the foundation of everything else we'll, that we'll discuss. When I see patients in my office, the first thing we look at is their hemoglobin A1C level. Think of your A1C as a report card for how well you're controlling your blood sugar. Here's something that amazes even my most experienced patient. Every point your A1C rises above normal doesn't just decrease your healing ability by a small amount, it actually reduces it by 10 times. Not 10%, 10 times. This means your A1C is just one point too high, then your healing ability is reduced by 1000%. This is why controlling your blood sugar isn't just about preventing complications, it's about giving your body the best chance to heal if problems do develop. This brings me to prevention, which is where you can make the biggest impact. I tell all my patients that daily foot checks are like brushing your teeth. It needs to become an automatic part of your routine. You need good lighting and mirror to check the bottom of your feet. What you're looking for might surprise you. It's not just obvious cuts or sores, or even a small area of redness or a spot that feels warm that could be the beginning of a problem. Between your toes, check for any moisture or skin changes. Your heels and the balls of your feet need special attention because they bear the most pressure when you walk. If you're finding this information helpful, take a quick moment to like this video and let me know in the comments if you've ever dealt with foot complications from diabetes. Let's talk about lifestyle changes that can dramatically reduce your risk. Exercise is crucial, but I know many of my patients worry about injuring their feet during activity. That's why I recommend starting with activities that are gentle on your feet. Water aerobics is fantastic because the water supports your weight while providing resistance for exercise. Even simple seated exercises can improve your circulation and help control blood sugar levels. Your diet plays a huge role in healing too. I always tell my patients that healing requires building blocks. That means protein at every meal and plenty of vitamins and minerals. Think of your body as a construction site. You need the right materials to repair damage and build new tissue. Staying hydrated is just as important. Proper hydration helps your blood carry nutrients to your feet more effectively. Now let me share some of the dangerous mistakes I see people make. Not because knowing what not to do is just important, as important as knowing what to do. Many people try to warm their numb feet with hot water, not realizing they can be causing serious burns because they can't feel the water temperature properly. Walking barefoot, even just around the house, is another dangerous habit. Even the smoothest floor can have tiny debris and can cause a cut that you may not feel. 
And one of the biggest mistakes I see is people trying to treat wounds at home. I understand the temptation to handle things yourself, but using things like hydrogen peroxide or alcohol can actually damage healthy tissue and make healing more difficult. Even more dangerous is waiting too long to seek help. A small problem today could become a serious infection tomorrow. When treatment is needed, we have many effective options available. The key is starting with treatment early. With conservative treatment like specialized wound dressings and pressure relief, we see success rates of 70 to 80%. For more complex cases, we have an advanced treatment like growth factor therapy and specialized skin substitutes that can boost success rates to 85 to 95% or higher. The healing timeline varies depending on the size and the severity of the ulcer. But here's what you can typically expect. Small ulcers often heal within four to six weeks with proper treatment. Larger, more complicated ulcers may take 12 to 16 weeks or even longer. The key is consistency in treatment and careful attention to blood sugar control throughout the healing process. Success doesn't end when the wound heals. Long-term management is crucial to prevent future problems. This means regular checkups, proper footwear, and ongoing monitoring of your diabetes. Think of, it, think of it as maintaining your car. Regular maintenance prevents bigger problems down the road. I've put together a comprehensive guide about preventing and treating diabetic foot ulcers, and you can get it completely free at www.footulcerbook.com. This guide goes into even more detail about everything we've discussed today. Remember, prevention is always better than treatment, but early intervention is key if problems do develop. If you found this video helpful, please share it with someone who might need this information. The link to schedule an appointment is in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.